Morning everyone, lightningesl.com. What are your major strengths? Let's say you're applying for a job of any kind of position and the interviewer person says to you, okay, Mr. Little, what's your major strengths? I'm not talking about physical strength, I'm talking about emotional, mental strength. Yeah, you've heard the expression emotional intelligence? It's how you can react to certain situations. What would you do if? What are your strengths? Are you an organized person? Misorganized person? Do you like clutter? Do you like neatness? How about punctuality? How about doing things as you're asked to do? Showing initiative? These are all type of verbs for strengths. Strengths comes in all different types of issues, doesn't it? It's part of your personality, part of your characteristic. What does it mean, strengths? You're strong doing this. You're a strong team player, a strong leader, a strong person, don't wait for everybody else. You have high initiative skills. That's what it means by strengths. It's a very, very open kind of concept, kind of word, isn't it? It's not something you can write down on a piece of paper, or maybe it is. If you said to yourself, what am I good at? What am I great at? What am I at so-so at, all right? What are strengths? You might say, Mr. Little, you're very good at speech when it comes to public speaking coaching. I had a very high success rate in a college university era, as well as being a teacher of this such situation. That might be my strength. Another strength I might have is confidence. Do you have confidence in yourself? Can you do things on your own? It's like going to a strange city, a strange atmosphere. Can you handle it by yourself? Or do you need help doing it? That you can call a strength of yourself. So as you can see, strength is a very, very open word, isn't it? But you have to be able to deliver an answer if somebody asks you for a job and asks you during your interview, what are your major strengths? What are the advantages of that strength or disadvantages of that strength? Yeah, there are disadvantages to a certain strength. Let's say, for example, I wrote down and I said to the interviewer, I'm willing to learn this, willing to learn that. The interviewing person might say, well, we have a timeline for you to learn this. And let's say you're a very good learner, but it takes you a long time to learn something. Yeah, because many times during an interview, they will say to you, are you a fast learner? Are you a slow learner? Do you need help for every movement of your job, every moment of the day? Or can I leave you alone to do your job all by yourself? These are the kind of issues you will face. When the person says, what are your strengths, Mr. Little? What are your strengths? What do you look at? What are your goals at a job? What are your major strengths? In other words, you have to be able to comment exactly what it means. Remember, the word strength is not always physical. It's mental ability to do something. Yeah. Can you handle pressure? Can you handle stress? Some people can, some people cannot. Some people have to work in a group setting. Some people do not have to work in a group setting. They can be all on their own. So in other words, a strength can be an advantage and a disadvantage, depending on the situation and the context of how you answer. So always remember that. You have to be prepared for such an answer when somebody says, what are your strengths? Thank you very much for your time. This is LightningESL.com. For further inquiries or in questions about my offering of public speaking courses and others, you can always contact me at lightning at rogers.com, L-I-G-H-T-N-I-N-G, at rogers.com. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.